Meet Eileen. She's 95 years old and has lived an extraordinary life. When Eileen was born in 1921, the world was a very different place. No smartphones, no computers, no TV. Growing up, Eileen spent her days roller skating with friends, studying for exams and daydreaming about travelling the world. But on September the 3rd, 1939, Britain declared war on Germany and everything changed. With Britain standing alone, Eileen was determined to help defend her country. She joined the RAF and found herself in the top secret filter room, a place so hush-hush she had to sign the Official Secrets Act to work there. Eileen's War tells the remarkable story of living through the Blitz, acting as a guide in a liberated Nazi concentration camp and hunting down V2 rocket launchers. Eileen on the Blitz. Travelling up to London to my city office, every day the scene was different. Houses that were there yesterday wouldn't be there today. The whole of the front would be blown out and there would be people's possessions in the streets. Nobody was stealing them, they were just lying there. And that was the time when one of the biggest raids on London were made, and I used to go past St Paul's Cathedral, and this was the day after the terrible bombing when there was a firestorm in that area. And amazingly, everything around St Paul's Cathedral was destroyed. But still standing was its wonderful dome. Eileen on radar. I was taught the general rules of radar and then I had special training as a filterer plotter. And the filter room was the link between the radar station and many other services, for example, the operations room, which would scramble aircraft to intercept, air raid warnings for the public, the Royal Observer Corps, who would take over the tracks that we were plotting and track them on overland. It would go to the air sea rescue, so that if any of our planes crashed, they would be picked up in the channel at the earliest possible time. And it was then I realised the importance of the filter room. Eileen on doing her bit. We realised that we were defending Great Britain and it meant that to us. And in addition, it also meant that every plaque we had on the table was an aircraft and it was doing a job either against us or for us. Eileen's War is available now from Candy Jar Books.